adding a break line. We can add a break line, which essentially will truncate some of our components or elements. And a break line is very commonly used. We can do this by going up to our annotate tab, going to our detail panel. We're going to go down to the component, grab a detail component. Usually a break line is uh, in loaded already. Make sure you hit the type selector and go down and pick a break line. If it's not there, we can go up and load a family. We can go into our US Imperial, go to detail items, go to division one general and load those in. You can see when I scroll down here or move my cursor down here, I have the break line. It's horizontal at the moment. To flip it around, I'm going to hit my space bar. And now you can see I got the space bar going around. And I'm going to go in here and place it. And when I place it, you'll see that I have it's whiting out an area to the left. I want it to whiten out on the right. So I'm going to hit the space bar and I'll just keep flipping it. Uh, hang on here. And I'll pick on it. Sorry. I'll pick on it. I'll hit the space bar and I'll just rotate it around. There we go. Now I have it so that the area to the right is whited out. I'm going to pick on it again. I'm going to control it with my grips. So in this case I'm going to pull it out so that it hides everything all the way up to my crop window. And so now I have everything the way I like it except for um, you know it's kind of going a little bit into my concrete there. Um, but I still like that. I can move that down if I wanted to. Um, so I'll move it down just a bit and then I'll go back. And so there, there we go. We added a break line. Uh, I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll go up to component. I'll go to break line. I'm going to hit the space bar. I'm going to place it. And I'll hit escape. You'll see that it's positioned the right way, but I didn't get quite enough uh, on the Well, let me scroll over a little bit here and zoom in a little more here. Rivet's going to have a little cow here. Grab it by the grips. I'll pull it out and I'll hit escape. And now it hides those lines. So we don't want to confuse the people with things they don't need to see. And that's the purpose of a brake line. The brake line says, hey, we have a long item. It's going to continue on forever, but we really don't need to see it. Um, in actuality, I would probably pull this up so I don't have to see this uh, piece of furniture up here as well. I'd hide that. All right. And so there we are. We're truncating those so we don't see that stuff. So adding a break line is as simple as going up to annotate and then to component and then place it in a break line. And you use your space bar to rotate it around to get it the proper orientation.